Good morning and welcome back. The cost of adoption can be too high for so many families and that's why this week's Changemaker is helping families looking to adopt by raising money to help them in their journey. Joining us now to share more, Jenna Tumberger, founder and CEO of Bound with Love Foundation. Jenna, good morning. Good morning. How are you? God, I'm really glad you're here to talk about your nonprofit that you started just this year. Yes, correct. And it started because of your own struggles with adoption. Yes. So talk about how, what your family went through and how that started you on this journey to helping others. Sure, sure. So the Bound with Love Foundation actually kind of started back in November of 21, or the concept of the foundation started in 2021, and it actually started as a fundraiser um, to help with funding my own family's adoption um, because we did not qualify for a lot of adoption grants that were out there due to very strict income thresholds. Okay. Yes, yeah, so um, then with that too, for the fundraiser, what I did is I created an open adoption themed baby book, and that concept kind of came into play when I went searching for something that had very specific adoption. Adoption, um, open adoption language and there wasn't really anything on the market so I decided well I'm gonna create my own and sell them and hopefully raise some funds for my own adoption and the life books itself really took on a life of its own uh, so with that then we um, so then with that what we did was I was able to create such a community around these books I had so much support from them and um, as I started talking to different community members the topics that always came up was funding and how hard that was and a lot of the other families also did have the same struggles with adoption grants um, that my own family did as well so then when we welcomed our son Christopher in August of 2022 um, we then felt the financial pressure on us again when we were trying to finalize our adoption mm -hmm. um, so it was really then that I realized that um, you know I have this platform with so much support from the adoption community to really help others with offsetting the cost of adoption. So when we applied for our 501c3 status, it was quickly approved, and that really did confirm for us that we had found a pain point within the current adoption grant um, opportunities, and our mission now is to be that bridge, um, that gap, so that we can make adoption more accessible to all families. That's so amazing to be able to help bridge that gap. I know we talked about a the, the barriers, yes. I mean, the cost, and what you're doing is you're essentially fundraising yes, to correct. raise grants for these families. How, what will that money go to? How will this help them? Sure. So the money that we fundraise right now is going or being allocated directly to the grants that we will be awarding um, hopeful adoptive families. Our first round of grants is actually going to be awarded on July 1st, and the grant applications open May 15th. And then right now, our goal for that cycle is $5,000. And then as we just continue to build momentum, Tom, really the sky's the limit on how many people we can help. I know getting it going is always the hardest part, yes. but we always hope that, of course, you get the support you're looking for. How do you choose the families? How do you know? Hey, you're, we're, there's so many out there right, that need it. Right, right, right. So it's within the adoption grant. It's throughout the application that, you know, I would like them to tell their own personal stories, um, the reasons why they would use these funds or like to use these funds um, with adoption. Unfortunately, there is that kind of hidden secret that hidden costs come up and that's not really talked about um, so you know what I really want to dive deep into their story and I want it to get personal that is the biggest thing here and then the other um, part two that also is brought up as well is that with adoption sometimes when you are matched that doesn't always it's not always a guarantee and that and if it fails, then you could be at a loss of significant funds that cannot mm. be recouped. So again, that kind of just goes back to being able to just tell your personal story. I want to hear it from the heart. Um, and then uh, we work with our board of directors to really just kind of decide like, you know, who can we allocate or who can we help and how much funds can we allocate to? All right, we only have about 20 more seconds. So I really want to talk sure. quickly about how you also support families through this like modern family era, yeah. this modern motherhood, providing support for families that might be watching that want to adopt? Sure, sure. So the foundation is really about also education. Um, we embrace modern motherhood and we embrace um, the modern family dynamic. And then also too, we want to be able to provide resources for um, adoptive families no matter where they are in the process. So we do speak on topics such as open adoption, transracial adoption, and adoption as it relates to trauma, grief, and loss. Mm -hmm. Jenna Tumberger yeah. with the Bound with Love Foundation. Thanks for sharing that. Thank Thanks you. for being a support for families. We appreciate you joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. Glad you were here. Thanks. Well,